Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hi, thank you. Good. I'm Johnny Lavoy. I'm the consulting hair expert for L'Oreal Paris. So tell me, Lisa, how do you normally wear your hair for an evening out? Well, I'm a mom of four, so it's something very quick, just kind of thrown up there, probably even just using a ponytail holder. <laughs> That's not very glamorous, is it? It's not. I wish I knew how. Well, I'm going to show you how. And it's really going to be simple and sexy. Because you have this great head of hair, and what you might be seeing on the runway is half up, half down look. I love that look. Yeah. I just can't do it yet. Well, you're lucky enough to have this beautiful texture, so you can almost go in right from here. And it's going to be that look of that iconic old Hollywood bombshell, you know, oh. something that's super sexy, but super relaxed and not overdone. It's important that your hair is in good condition. And mm -hmm. the first step to good condition hair is shampoo and conditioning. Because your hair is thick, colored, and can have a tendency to be a little dry, I think the Ever Pure Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner is a perfect choice. It's sulfate-free, so it's going to keep your color from fading because it doesn't have those harsh detergents that can strip color, and it's going to keep your hair in the best condition. Okay. Well, you're lucky enough to have this beautiful texture, mm -hmm. but if your hair was straighter, you can create the same texture with an iron. By just going in, taking the barrel, and wrapping the hair around it, leaving the ends out, it gives it a nice texture without being overdone. So the first thing we're going to do is section your hair off into two sections. We're going to take it from the top and go from right behind the ear, and you're going to just section that off. And you're going to repeat that step on the other side. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is just create a little bit of volume on top. Okay. And I'm going to do that by backcombing. So to backcomb, it's a matter of holding the hair up lightly, mm -hmm. putting the comb about three inches from the root, and then just pushing it down. You're gonna hold with this hand. All right. Go in about two inches and just go down, push and it down. And just push it down. Okay, so after we do that, we're gonna go in and just sort of support that back combing. We're gonna just spray it with a little Elnet. And what's great about Elnet is that it's not a stiff, hard hairspray, but it does hold and it encourages shine, and it's humidity resistant. I definitely need that where I live. <laughs> it's a nice, soft, touchable hole that gives you. Okay. So now we have a little bit of the tease in there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to section the hair right to the temple on each side. So you're gonna take the hair from in front of the ear and just pull it back. I'm gonna go in with a bobby pin, and I'm gonna put the bobby pin on a diagonal. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take this side and repeat it. So you're gonna hide that one bobby pin mm -hmm. with this hair. You're gonna crisscross it and cross over. So this once you've done way. that, we're gonna take the top down and you're gonna find a part. And I'm gonna repeat that process. I'm gonna bring it over and with another bobby pin, crisscross. By crisscrossing, what you're doing is you're locking the bobby pins over each other so they're gonna stay in place. Okay, it's like a lattice work, just exactly. crossing over each other. So now we're left with this section here. What you're going to do is sort of split that down in half. And then I'm going to go and bring this back and pin it in place. So now you have a couple of the bobby pins exposed. What I like to do just to create like a little decorative element is just take mm -hmm. the ends of those pieces that we pin and just twist it into a little bun. So after I've done that, I'm just going to go over with some Elnet and hold the look in place. And this is your half up half down look. Wow, it looks amazing. Think you can do it yourself? Yes, I think I can. It was really simple. It is, and it looks a lot cuter than just a plain old ponytail. Absolutely. Thank you so much.